What is black? And why did you call me black? There's a psychological impact. If I'm black, then you must be white. Yet we are made to believe that white is pure and black is dangerous. White is good and black is bad. So why did you call me black? Okay, so I am black. Black excellence, I've got it. Black and beautiful, I am. Black and proud, you already know. But why did you call me black? Was it not you that kidnapped, traded and sold us? Took us from a country we can no longer identify with today. And hundreds of years later made us part of the Commonwealth in which we contributed to the NHS, railway systems, homes, universities, traffic lights, you name it, and we did it. So why am I still defined by the same word black? Why does the same word black put me at a disadvantage and separate me from my white counterparts, the same white counterparts who I call my friends? But in today's society, they will be looked at as being superior. Therefore, am I inferior? If you don't believe me, then let's look at the statistics. Black people were looked at as three-fifths of a human. Three-fifths of a human. Is that not crazy? Because I am black, I am only three-fifths of a human and not a whole human. Black women are three times more likely to be at risk when giving birth to their children. Mental health in the black community is disregarded. We are black people in the, that have degrees are 23.1% more likely to be paid less than their white counterparts. Is this not crazy? If you don't believe me, we can even look at these statistics that are telling you straight. I am still put at a disadvantage and I am a 14 year old girl and all I ask for is change. I don't want no longer to be racially injustice. I ask for change. And the way that we can have change is that the teachers can educate me on situations that may inevitably affect me, such as stop and search cases. They can also teach me about my history and about how I prospered and not only how I was oppressed. Teach me how we contributed to this society and to this country. That's only a few steps to change. And I believe that one day we will have it. One day we shall overcome and this will no longer just be about race. Racial injustice will no longer be a thing. I'm just letting you know.